Well, Gina Sloss on a, a great win there. Well, a little stressful getting started. The girls came in really strong. Um, I think we had like six to seven shots in the first 10 minutes, just couldn't put it away. Um, but that's, you know, our challenge. Um, but absolutely, we're playing some really, really good soccer from the defensive line. The middle is just tearing it up and we have some really strong forwards. Well, I was gonna say, you're, after you guys analyze your trace system there, you're gonna see, see that your defenders Touched the ball like five times all game. Yeah. I don't want to understate it or overstate it, but yeah. you guys were in the attacking third. Yeah. 70 minutes today, probably, right? Right. Okay. Um, well, is that and status? I, is that... And I hope that the, <laughs> in the future the goals reflect that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, was this was this an anomaly? You've seen, you've coached all the four games or five games. No, this so... is this is what it's looked like all Seriously? four games. Seriously? Yeah. What, what are you guys doing that are just uh, and getting the ball and counterattacking so quickly. What are you guys doing to maintain possession in the offensive third? Well, I think that, number one, we have strong players that know what they're doing with the field. I've been able to teach them several different um, shapes and formats, mm. and then they adapt to what's working for them. So we have a lot of strength in the middle of the field, um, and so we're able to use that to our advantage. Do you want to give, give any, a shout-out to any of the kids' names? Yeah, not absolutely. To put, not to put you on the spot. Yeah, and I just I, stalled so you could get yeah. a couple extra names there. Um, absolutely. Um, you know, I don't think they get enough credit for what they do, but like our center backs, Sophia Rosas uh -huh. and Rowan Boyer, uh -huh. um, Ava Himes in the middle, Summer, just amazing players. And then we have Nally coming back from an injury. So once she's, you know, she's a workhorse, so she's going to be able to do the job. But we just have so many. It's so hard to like name them all. But. Are you guys? I, I wouldn't doubt that. <laughs> you have a roster full of talent. Uh, expectations for the season. Are you, I know you don't want to look past any opponent or whatnot, but uh, you know, are you guys, is the focus league or is it CCS or what's the what's the, the drive and the, the war cry at this stage of the season? Well, I think my job is to be able to prepare them for every game and take every game in stride. But I think it's also just to prepare them emotionally and mentally to be able to take every game and then be able to win every game. But the goal is CCS. Is CCS. It's, it's the league and CCS. You know, what, this group of girls is probably the best group of girls that have come out of Aptos in a long time. Mm -hmm. And so the sky's the limit for them. It's really how far they want to take it and how much they want it. Are you expecting a, an open division type thing? I know we're miles and eons away from that, mm -hmm. but if you, you're fine if you guys go open division type thing? Or yeah, is that I, what you guys want? It's best I, of the best. Yeah, I, I think that it if we go open division, it just says that these girls, you know, have worked that hard yeah. and that they've gotten the points to be in that division. And I think that they're a team that people might not expect to be able to be there and actually win some games, might even just win the whole tournament. There you go. All right. Well, good luck and congrats with the season. Thank you.